This little guy lets me control any device in my server rack from over the network. This is the Tiny Pilot Voyager 2A, a Raspberry Pi based device that essentially adds an IPMI feature to any computer. This gives it full control via a web browser with the ability to not only use the device as if I was sitting in front of it, but also power cycle and even pass through virtual media. You've probably seen quite a few videos on this thing, so I'm not really gonna go into the full details about the basic functionality. TLDR, it's a Raspberry Pi 4 with some extra goodies that allow this thing to act as a KVM over IP. Cool, you guys get it. But this video isn't really a review about the Tiny Pilot. This is a video about how I use it in my home lab. If you want some specs and features, well, here you go. Pause the video if you wanna read it. You actually pause the video. If you did, then you have to comment, OMG, I can stop time, help. You see, I currently have two KVM solutions already. One is a 1U 8 port 15 inch trip light unit that works pretty well, but if I'm being honest, I use it more as a shelf. It's not bad or anything, but the servers I have plugged into it already have IPMI built in. So if I need to access them, I just use that. The other one I have is a four port HDMI KVM and like the trip light, it's only available when I'm standing right in front of my server rack. I got this since I wanted to be able to use a monitor in my rack that was higher resolution than the trip light, which has like six total pixels. I generally use this for my little nooks or raspberry Pis in my rack that don't have VGA or IPMI. Wow, look at Brad, Mr. Fancy Pants with his two KVMs. Yeah, but these don't do KVM over IP, which is what I wanted. Sometimes I have devices in my rack that I wanna troubleshoot or interact with that don't have IPMI. And if you think I'm gonna walk all the way to my garage every time I wanna do that, then you're, you're a silly bitch. Now you can see where the Tiny Pilot comes into play. With this, I can hook up a single machine, no matter what it is, and control it over the network. Wait, a single device? Doesn't this thing cost like $400? No, actually the PoE model I have is $500. Checkmate. Okay, chill, chill, chill. I know that's a ton of money to give a single computer IPMI functionality. I agree, but we have a little trick. Remember that HDMI KVM that lets me plug in four computers? Well, it has this cool feature where you can switch the input with hotkeys. You see where this is going? If I hook up the output of the HDMI KVM to the input of the Tiny Pilot, then the USB output of the Tiny Pilot to the USB input of the HDMI KVM, then we can effectively use the Tiny Pilot to control any of the four machines plugged into the KVM. And with a hotkey switching feature, we can switch between them as well. Now. Not all KVMs will work like this, and there is a list that's regularly updated if you wanna try this yourself. I've been wanting something like this for a long, long time. The UI of the Tiny Pilot is simple and intuitive enough to just navigate to the IP and get going. My initial impressions of the performance is about what I expected. Good enough to get some work done and troubleshoot, but don't think that you're gonna game on here. Although you do get a nice 1080p 30fps stream, which is pretty decent in a web browser. You can switch from MJPEG to H.264 streaming mode, which does give you a little better quality, and it does seem like it reduces the latency a bit. In this mode, you also have access to audio streaming, so you can get full audio pass-through from your device as well. However, it didn't really play nicely with my HDMI KVM setup, so I just had to use my imagination for all the dialogue. In reality, I couldn't really think of an actual reason I'd need audio, so this didn't bother me. I'm already super happy with the setup, but now that we have access to our devices over the network, we can take it a step further. If that's the case, then that means when I VPN back into my home network when I'm away, I'll be able to control all my dumb computers. Now, if there is sensitive data on these devices, then please make sure you're taking proper precautions. And your results will vary drastically depending on your internet connection. So if you're trying to VPN back in from some super remote location, then expect some serious latency. There is one more thing that I need to do to make this setup perfect. I'm gonna change the output of my KVM from the monitor in the rack to the tiny pilot. I lost the ability to actually use the monitor. This isn't a terrible thing, but I like my rack monitor. I, I want to use it. To solve this, I threw an HDMI switch between the KVM and the monitor and the Tiny Pilot. 
Now when I'm in my rack and I wanna use the monitor, I just switch the output with the press of a button. So controlling all of my devices over the network was the main feature I wanted until I realized you can boot from virtual media using this thing. That allows me to just throw any old machine in the rack and test various operating systems from anywhere in the house. I can install Windows, run some tests, insert a USB drive into my local machine, then install a whole new operating system over the network. That's freaking awesome. I have had times where I was standing in front of my rack for hours messing with different operating systems on a single device. Now, I don't have to do that. All right, overall thoughts. Let's talk about those. Let's address the big thing, the price. It is expensive, there's no getting around that, but honestly, IBM IKBMs are just expensive in general. While most of the other ones you'll find will have built-in switching for four or eight devices, the Tiny Pilot by default only lets you control a single device. Now, obviously I've shown how to get around this with a separate KVM, but that's just still something you need to note. I do really like that it can be powered over PoE as it helps with the absolute rat nest cable management that I have going on in my rack. I don't have other IP KVMs to compare this thing to, so I can't really tell you if it's better or worse than other options, but what I can tell you is that it works well and does everything it advertises. I plan on giving this thing a permanent spot in my rack, so maybe down the line I'll have a more long-term review of it, but as of right now, I'm happy with it. Should you buy it? I really, really hate answering that question because very rarely does it have a definitive answer, but let me try. If you're looking for an IP KVM solution to upgrade your dumb KVM switch like me, then I think it's a solid buy. If you don't currently have anything, then maybe it's more cost effective to go with another solution, but I can't speak to how well those work. Let me know down in the comments what you're running and if this would be a good option for you, but that's all I have on the Tiny Pilot. The link is down in the description if you want to check it out. Go ahead and drop a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you want to watch me more. I want to give a huge shout out to my YouTube members and my Patreons. You guys are my Tiny Pilot guiding me through the darkest depths of YouTube. Much appreciate. If you're still watching though, you're a champ. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.